At Nationwide Children's Hospital, the Center for Healthy Weight and Nutrition has assembled a comprehensive team to approach a critical medical issue facing a growing number of adolescents and teenagers, morbid obesity. For teenagers like James and Jessica, the impact of excess pounds weighs heavily on their health now and into the future. I want to get down to a healthy weight, not a supermodel, just healthy. And I'm hoping that my weight loss will motivate me more in everything that I do in school, just my future in general. Morbid obesity increases the risk of an impressive list of chronic illnesses from heart disease, hypertension, diabetes, sleep apnea, asthma, reflux, and even behavioral health issues. Both Jessica and James have been followed extensively by the team at the Center for Healthy Weight and Nutrition as they tried to achieve a healthy weight through dieting, exercise, and behavior modification. Their cases are also reviewed by surgeon Dr. Mark Mikowski. This is not just a problem of weight. This is a, uh, an issue that uh, transcends multiple uh, body systems and metabolic systems. So I think really you need the expertise of a number of different um, specialists and subspecialists in the field, including surgery, uh, endocrinology, cardiology, uh, nephrology. And I, I really think to do a system like this uh, uh, just as it needs to be uh, done in a multidisciplinary fashion. Only after extensive screening and exhausting other treatment avenues does the Center for Healthy Weight and Nutrition present surgical intervention as a treatment for morbid obesity for children as young as 14 years of age through the hospital's Adolescent Bariatric Surgery Clinic. If you were to liken it to a title, this is probably better thought of as metabolic surgery. This is surgery to help cure disease. Two surgical options are available, gastric bypass and lap band, the laparoscopic adjustable gastric band. Dr. Mark Mikowski, surgical director of the Center for Healthy Weight and Nutrition, explains each procedure. First, there's gastric bypass, the option used in James's surgical case. As you can see in normal digestion, food moves through the stomach, entering the small intestine. This is where most of the nutrients and calories are absorbed. It then passes into the large intestine for elimination from the body. During gastric bypass, the stomach is made smaller by creating a pouch at the top of the stomach using surgical staples. The newly created smaller stomach is then connected directly to the middle portion of the intestine, bypassing the rest of the stomach and the upper portion of the small intestine. The surgeon makes an incision in the abdomen. In most cases, minimally invasive techniques or laparoscopic surgery can be used, making patient recovery faster and hospitalization shorter. Next, Dr. Mark Mikowski explains the second type of bariatric surgery called lap banding, the option used for Jessica. During laparoscopic adjustable gastric banding, the surgeon uses laparoscopic tools to place an adjustable band around the upper part of the stomach. Squeezed by the band, the stomach becomes a small pouch with an opening that's about an inch wide. Less food can be held in the stomach, resulting in the patient feeling full faster and for longer periods of time. A plastic tube runs from the band to a device or port placed under the skin. Sterile water or saline can be injected or removed through the skin port. This allows adjustment in the size of the band in order to optimize weight loss. This procedure is reversible, unlike gastric bypass, which is permanent. Recovery for Jessica was a single night stay in the hospital. Then her weight loss was monitored by regular visits to the Center for Healthy Weight and Nutrition. James spent several nights as an inpatient at Nationwide Children's Hospital before going home to start a regular schedule of visits to the follow-up clinic. Today, both have achieved incredible success and better health. James, with a weight loss of over 200 pounds, has adopted an active lifestyle and modified diet choices. Many of his health complications are no longer challenges. As for Jessica, she is nearing her desired healthy weight and has made lifestyle changes including balanced nutrition and regular exercise. For morbidly obese teenagers, this level of intervention provides control over a life-threatening disease and a life-altering treatment that will impact their future.
by the time they are reaching their teens, if nothing has changed in terms of their weight and their weight growth curve, they have an overwhelming chance of carrying that weight into their adult years.